The Connections TR Tendon Repair System is a permanent implant intended for the repair of lacerated tendons of the hand and wrist. The implant is provided pre-loaded into an implant mechanism and supplied with a deployment mechanism to facilitate intraoperative placement. The implant is indicated to repair severed or lacerated flexor and extensor tendons of the hand and wrist within a specified size range. The Connections TR implant is made from 316 LS stainless steel and ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene yarn that is wrapped to form a loop that connects the stainless steel components and allows the implant to flex during natural tendon gliding. During implantation, the top component of the anchors forms around the bottom component, creating a single construct. The top component is 16 mm long and 2.5 mm wide. The bottom component is 18.25 mm long and 2.8 mm wide. Similar to the top component, the bottom component consists of two identical stainless steel anchors connected by yarn. The stainless steel pieces have four eyelets, which are designed to engage the legs coming from the top component during implantation. The Connections TR Tendon Repair System is a novel alternative to standard suture repair, as demonstrated in a lacerated FTP tendon in Zone 2. Approach the lacerated tendon using a preferred surgical technique. Create an access point in the sheath by creating a 2 cm incision over the laceration. Retrieve tendon ends using a standard technique and approximate the ends using two epitendinous corner sutures or a preferred alternative approximation technique. You are now ready to use the Connections TR tendon repair system. The implant mechanism is designed with a spring clutch component that sizes the implant appropriately for tendons between 1.5 and 4 mm thick. The spring clutch disengages with an audible and tactile click when the tendon is fully engaged between the cartridge and the cradle, preventing over-compression of the tendon. The design of the system enables variable deployment of the implant, controlled by the thickness of the tendon being repaired. The deployed implant does not have a fixed height. The legs of the top component of the implant will curl more in thinner tendons or less in thicker tendons as the implant is deployed and formed together. Thus, the implant is not a one-size-fits-all, but rather a custom fit based on the thickness of the tendon between 1.5 and 4 mm thick. Position the tendon in the cradle and fully engage the tendon by rotating the thumb wheel in a clockwise direction until the aforementioned click occurs. At this point, observe the tendon through the viewing windows to ensure proper tendon coaptation and centering in the cradle. The process of positioning the tendon in the cradle and engaging the tendon can be reversed and repeated as many times as necessary prior to deployment of the implant. When the tendon is appropriately aligned and engaged, attach the deployment mechanism to the implant mechanism and pull the trigger to deploy the implant. The trigger will release back to its original position when the implant has been fully deployed. Following full deployment, remove the retention wire from the implant cradle and discard it. Disengage the implant mechanism from the tendon by rotating the thumb wheel counterclockwise until the implant mechanism can be removed from the surgical site. The Connections TR implant is now in place. The repairs produced with the Connections TR implant have been shown to be two times stronger, three times faster, and have 2.2 times less glide resistance than repairs produced with conventional suture techniques.